All right, so I have my goat meat here that is freshly washed. I washed mine with a teeny bit of lemon juice. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just season this with some all-purpose seasoning salt. The amount of seasoned salt you use will depend on the quantity of goat that you have. So here I have a little over a pound because it is just me and my two young kids. So we don't need that much. And then you wanna just mix that right up in there. So I'm adding about two to three tablespoons of curry powder right onto my goat. I'm just gonna do three. Next, this part is optional. I'm just doing this part because I like it and it's just optional. I'm just gonna add some basil, basil. We all have our different ways of saying it. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano leaves. You don't have to add this. Like I said, this is quite optional. We all have our many ways of cooking. You cook it your way, I'll cook it mine. Dad! Hi, Bear. Next, I'm gonna add my scallions, Dad! also called green onions. So I'm gonna add all that to the mix. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some freshly chopped onions. I'm just gonna throw that all over in that. Next, I'm gonna add some chopped minced garlic. So I'm put that all up, right up in there. Don't be shy, the more the merrier. After that, I'm gonna add some fresh red peppers. You can use any color you want, it's strictly really up to you. And lastly, I'm gonna add some scotch bonnet pepper. I'm just using a little piece right now. You can use half, it depends on how much pepper you want. But I am cooking for my family of children, so I gotta kinda be lenient on how much pepper I'm putting in this. So I'm not really adding too much. I just added a little piece just for the flavor. All right, and the very, very last thing is thyme leaves. You don't wanna forget them thyme leaves. So I'm just adding some thyme leaves. Thyme leaves are everything. So I got enough in here. And then next, what you wanna do is just wash your hands, and we're gonna dig in. So I'm adding a bit of allspice seasoning in here also and then with your clean hand you just want to go ahead and start mixing all of this together. Don't go too rough because you know your goat might have bone and you don't want to hurt yourself. You just want to mix this in because you want this to marinate overnight while you're sleeping because oh my goodness it's going to make it taste extra extra good. But if you don't have overnight at least let it marinate for at least 6-4 hours tops. All right, so that is looking good. So one thing I did forget is just to add a little bit of black pepper. This is optional. You don't have to add black pepper if it doesn't agree with you. But I'm just adding with my clean hand again that I washed. We're just gonna mix that in. I added a teeny bit of water in mine just so the marinade can go on a little bit smoother. I'm gonna mix that in and cover this with a full paper and then you're just gonna let this marinate for a bit overnight, four to six hours, and I will see you right back here, right at the stove. Bye. All right, guys, who is ready to make curry goat? So my goat is seasoned up since last night. All right, so in your pan now, you wanna go ahead and add a bit of cooking oil and just let that heat. All right, so what we're gonna do now is brown our meat a little bit. So what you wanna do is make sure you remove all the seasoning off of it, all the onions and stuff, because that's just gonna burn in your pot. So once you have all the seasoning removed, you wanna go ahead and just add your meat, your goat meat, right into your pot, and then you're gonna let each piece just brown in color. All right, so I have my goat meat browning in my pot, and then I have my seasoning here. And then you just turn it to, so the other side can get an equal amount. All right, so it's been about exactly five minutes now. So now I'm just going to go ahead and check. We're going to just check one side. And you see how it's browned nicely on one side? That's exactly what you want. So you want to go ahead and stir your pot now. Just so all the other ones that haven't been cooked yet can turn over and get it even cooked. And then for the ones that didn't turn over so easy, you could just turn them over yourself. All right, so my goat has browned up nicely. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna add some more thyme. And then I'm gonna add about, this is about a big jumbo cup of water. So about two cups right into that. And I'm gonna turn up my stove just a bit, just a bit. 
and then I'm gonna let this come to a simmer and I'm gonna let this simmer down for about one hour so I'll see you guys in an hour so I'm just adding a little extra salt to mine because I don't think I add enough seasoning salt taste your pot before you add salt because you never know if it's already salted so I will see you guys in an hour got my timer set so see you guys so I have some rice here that I already went and washed and I'm gonna add a bit of salt to this and just mix that in nicely all right next I'm gonna add some sugar don't beat it till you try it guys it's really good and it should have like a slightly saltish but a little bit more Swedish taste to the rice all right next I'm adding some butter just to mix that right in all right next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a half can of coconut milk you can use the actual coconut itself just cut it up small and blend it all together all right so after I'm done that I'm just gonna add a can of red kidney beans and I'm adding everything because I want the water. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in this and just pour it right back in. Alright, I turned down my lighting a bit so you guys can get the natural color. Just pour that in. And then I'm just going to mix this nicely. And the key to this is keep your stove high until it starts boiling up. And just as the water is about to get to the end, then you turn your stove down let it simmer. Otherwise, I find that the bottom of the rice does burn too easily when you turn down your stove on low too fast. Alright guys, sorry about that. I forgot to add. Make sure you add some thyme to this and a freshly washed scotch bonnet pepper. You want to take this out um, a little to the end when your rice dries out because it will burst in your pot and then you'll have just a whole thing of heat going on. So I'm just going to tilt my pot cover off and just let it come to a nice little boil. So we're just checking on our rice and peas now and as you can see it my rice has simmered down very nicely and my stove is now on low so now at this time I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my scotch bonnet pepper all right so I have 10 minutes left on my timer and my curry gold is cooking down very nicely so it's almost down to the hour and then we're gonna add the rest of our seasoning and ingredients and we are all good to go so I'll see you guys all right guys so it's been a full hour since our goat has been cooking and that just looks really good so what we're gonna do now is just add our remainder seasoning from earlier and you just want to add all of this right in all right and we're just gonna stir that in now and alongside that you just want to add another big cup of water sometimes you'll need two depend on how much goat you are cooking all right, so now I'm gonna add a whole fresh scotch bonnet pepper to that. So right before we cover our pot, I have some potatoes here that I cut up. We're just gonna go ahead and add this right into there. You can cut this up whatever shape you want it to be. And we're just gonna mix that in. Be careful you don't poke your scotch bonnet pepper. And then we're gonna allow this to cook down for another 30 to 40 minutes or until you see your meat falling off the bone so your meat should be nice and tender so make sure you be sure to take out your scotch bonnet pepper after a while because you don't want it to burst in your pot so we're gonna cover this now and let that simmer down and then your dish is pretty much completed all right so we're exactly 23 minutes in so far so if you find that your gravy is still a little bit too watery, what you can do is just add a little bit of flour in a cup of hot water and make a little paste. And just add that to your pot and this will thicken your gravy right up. And then you just let that cook in. And then your gravy will just begin to get nice and thick and then your pot is ready. And remember after some time to take out your scotch bonnet pepper. You see how it's bubbling a little bit more thicker now? That's what you want to see. So this will cook down nicely within the next 20 minutes or so. So I did the full 40. So this is it right after it's cooked down nicely. As you see your gravy is nice and thick and everything just looks good. Go ahead and serve this with your white rice, rice and peas, food, provision, whatever it might be. Enjoy!